Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have a completed mini album to share with you. This was a custom ordered album, and it's a sports theme album. And for the paper line, I used both Echo Park and Simple Stories, both of their mini themes. From Echo Park, I used the football, basketball, and baseball. And from Simple Stories, I used the football and soccer. And I did add a post-it note over the baby's middle and last name throughout the album. I do not have a start to finish on this because I've been working on it for a few days. She did also request a box with it. From what I understand, the the father-to-be played football. Um, so I went ahead with the box for the football theme. On the front here, this one is from Simple Stories, I believe. And I did Mod Podge it to give it the look of leather. So it does have that little bit of shine to it, which makes it look like leather. And I put the baby's full name and then I put my first year. And it has a little football paper. And again, let me just give you an overlook of the box itself. The box is eight and a half by six and a half, I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah, eight and a half by six and a half approximately. And it houses my album in there perfectly. The album itself is seven and a half by five and three quarters. Here's the look of the inside of the box. Again, that's the lid. And again, for the cover of the album, I did the football theme. On the front here, I did a little player stats. Again, I blocked out the baby's name, but I have the baby's name here. I have MVP, the year 17, and then I have baby's first year. I know, I know um, MVP is not a position, but I thought it would be cute to add that on there. And this is up on some black chipboard, so it has some dimension to it. The I did not distress anything throughout the album. It's a baby's first year, so it goes through the entire first year of the baby's life. So I didn't want it real distressed, but I did distress the outside pages of this because this is the football paper, so I thought it would look good with a little bit of, of the vintage photo distressing on it. So when you open it up, it goes through the entire first year. And I did this a little, little bit differently than I've done albums in the past, and I'll explain that in just a moment. But the very first page is going to be the welcome page. So this one is a baseball theme. On the right side, there is a four and an eighth by six and an eighth photo mat. So the mom can put a four by six photo and it'll leave a slight border of the craft paper. And then every page has a pocket so she can add photos to the pocket also along with milestone cards that I designed um, on my computer. So all the milestone cards are backed with the same craft card stock. Again, the baby's name, it says welcome. It has date, time, weight, length, hospital, doctor, and highlights. So the mom can jot down all those important, um, all the important information. And then I did a very light, um, transparent photo here of the baseball glove with the baseball in it. This here is from the online silhouette store. It says, welcome to the world, little one. We're so glad you're here. I did a couple layers of that to make it thick like chipboard. And here's some journaling cards. These are from, I believe, um, Echo Park. And then these two are from Simple Stories. So the mom can add journaling to the back of all these or photos to the back. And then every page is magnetized just to help hold it together. So when you open this one up, this is for the first month and everyone has a pocket where I did two larger photo mats with a bracket edge. So the mom can do like more photos for the welcome, the baby's newborn pictures or journaling and then month one. So these are perfect for lots more information or photos. And I used really strong magnets in these to hold it together. Again, photo here, this one is a basketball theme. And on here I put first month with the little basketball 
paper. I absolutely, I was so happy with the Echo Park paper. So here is month one with a little basketball ticket. Again, the mom can jot down weight, length, milestones, highlights, what the baby's doing for that month because we all tend to forget that very quickly. Here's the journaling cards. And again, throughout this, it's going to be a mixture of both the Echo Park and Simple Stories. Here I made a little basketball. The mom can, you know, put a little photo or journaling, and I just have that tucked in the pocket here. Flip over here, I have the number two. It says, Eat, Sleep, Be Cute, Repeat. The football theme photo mat large journaling card perfect for photos on the back here's the two month I did the little silhouette of the football player so I customized each one of these to go with the theme of what that month is again it's magnetized open this one up it's the baseball I added a little baseball here, but left it open so the photo can slide right behind it. Here's the three month. It's got the little player. And she'll be able to slide photos in these pockets as well. On four months, I did the player stats again. I added four months to this, the baby's name. The little glove for the milestone card here. And then this one is a little flip open as well for some more journaling. This was so much fun for me to make. I've never made a sports album before, so I was glad she asked me to do this because I was really happy with how it turned out. Love the paper here. So again, this opens up. We have some more football. She didn't want too much um, soccer or baseball throughout, so I, I limited those. Here's for the five months. And if you notice, every single one I made sure to put what the month was. So this one's the four. Here's the five that I put in the score field. more journaling cards here's six months such cute papers a large one a large for the jo journaling this one I put a little helmet on it Here's for seven months. And this paper here and all the way at the front here, I designed it myself. Um, I used the color that you see in the background here. It's the blue color. You can see a little peeking out. I used that as the backdrop. And then this was an element that came um, with the collection. So I had scanned that in and put it all over the paper to match it along with this as well. Again, all of these have the pull-out mats. So this album will hold a lot of photos, a lot of journaling. On this side is the basketball. I added the eight months to the side here. Cute journaling cards. This side here is another football page. I added a sentiment that I got from the online silhouette store and I matched the colors to this so it says little miracle I added the silhouette of the guy I added some stars and the number nine for the nine month mark so the nine month photo will be placed here a large journaling card these are I believe four by six yeah these would be four by six so when a four by six photo is added to here you can see it leaves just a slight craft border which is perfect Little football on the milestone card. Cute journaling cards that come in this collection. 
On this side, again, the baby's name, it says age 10 months. This is the one soccer page because she didn't want, um, the, it, the collection came with like a lot of uh, soccer, not a lot, a few soccer pages. She wanted the more solid page here. Add a soccer ball to this one. A smaller stats. That was a journaling card. I love this journaling card. This one here, I added this banner. It says 11 months. I also added this. It says I'm kind of a big deal. The background paper. And then I did the silhouette of the football player for the milestone card. So this is perfect for a mom to quickly come in, add photos, add some journaling, and it'll be a great keepsake. And so the last page, of course, is the baby's first year. So I added, it's your birthday, 12 months, on here as well. Um, I designed this paper as well. I, I made it the exact same color as, um, I designed both of these papers, actually. So I made it the same orange that's in the basketball. I pulled the same color, and this was a um, font that I had. So I just added that to the entire background and then made this page as well and added that onto it. And then I put a little happy birthday with the silhouette of the basket. So I hope you've enjoyed a flip through of this album. This was really fun to make and I hope the mom likes it. I love how it goes together with the box. I also did make her a little gift card that she can give with it as well that goes with the theme. It, it's a three and a half by three and a half. It says with love and a little handmade envelope. So thanks so much for stopping by.